Here are some special tools listed to debark a tree with. You can clearly see that here runs sapwood and this is hardwood and that's the part that we are going to cut off. Here you can see me removing the heart of the tree. This is very important because sometimes there will be twisting growth in it. Also, because the heart has smaller growth rings, it will cause more tension and drying cracks. Therefore, we remove it. Then, after deciding where you want your split to go and then marking it out, you should work your way in with your axe and then split further with wooden wedges or steel wedges. And you will often see me sitting, of course, because I don't want to waste my back. This tool I'm using is called a throw, and it's hand forged by me. Uh, without a throw you can't really ride wood because you can't steer where the split is going So um, it's also used for making shingles and it's very handy without it. You're nothing You can see me using a draw knife for this work otherwise you can't really cut off the proper amount of material away Also make sure your blade is sharp as a razor
it was very clearly to see that this side has to be corrected now This is bad. This is pretty much okay. Another thing to keep in mind when using draw knives like this is using the complete blade. Otherwise, when you use just one place of the knife, like the middle, like most people do, you will create a dull spot and then you will resharpen it, but you only resharpen the dull spots and you will create a hollow knife and you don't want that. You want a straight line of a draw knife. To, to take off consistently and with each uh, pull the same material. 